Hi, my name is Jeff Steinberg, and I've just uh, participated in the latest luncheon given by American statesman Lyndon LaRouche. I can say that going into today's event, uh, there was extraordinary interest in hearing what Mr. LaRouche had to say, particularly because the Washington, D.C. diplomatic community was uh, saturated last week with uh, Mr. LaRouche's prepared remarks that he delivered on Saturday, his State of the Union address. And at the very outset of his opening remarks, which will be available uh, on uh, the LaRouche PAC website later today, uh, he began right off by saying that we are in the midst of a global systemic financial meltdown and that the economic crisis, the financial dislocation, the bankruptcy of the entire British inter-alpha global monetary system is spreading uh, instability throughout the entire planet. This is not some kind of linear kinematic chain reaction process where events in Tunisia somehow or other sparked events now playing out in mass demonstrations throughout Egypt. It's the fact that the entire global financial and monetary system is in the final phases of disintegration that is causing the kind of social unrest and dislocation that's occurring everywhere. And so what you're seeing is a single global process, a dangerous collapse into a dark age. And that's what we're seeing manifested in the instability in Tunisia, in Egypt, in Algeria, in Jordan, in many other parts of the world. Now, one of the things that Mr. LaRouche emphasized, again, in his prepared opening remarks today, uh, was the significance of the Angelides Commission report that's been released to the public today. The uh, dramatic findings of the commission really go right to the point that LaRouche was making from the time that this crisis first erupted in the summer of 2007. Namely, that there was no need for this $17 trillion bailout of a thoroughly bankrupt financial system. What LaRouche emphasized is that this commission report confirms what he said on July 25, 2007, namely that the system is bankrupt, it has to be put through bankruptcy reorganization, and in fact, the Homeowners and Bank Protection Act proposal that Mr. LaRouche presented in uh, August, September of 2007 and which got tremendous political support and traction throughout the country, including within the Congress, would have averted the entire bailout. The Angelides report admits that the bailout was unnecessary, uh, that it should never have happened, and that it made things, in fact, dramatically worse. So the point is that there is a clear-cut solution to the crisis in the United States, to the global crisis. It starts with the reinstatement of Glass-Steagall in the U.S., with the reestablishment of a credit system rather than a monetary system. It means immediately moving to implement the North American Water and Power Alliance project, which is at the center of a nested series of global great projects, including the Bering Straits project, the Transaqua development project, uh, in Africa. Many other projects along these lines would be moved on rapidly on the basis of NAWAPA. And from a scientific standpoint, breaking through no new frontiers in science, Mr. LaRouche discussed NAWAPA from the standpoint that it puts us in the position to conquer the Arctic region and to begin to understand things about our planet that we currently are completely in the dark or largely in the dark about. So this whole issue of whether or not the planet collapses into a dark age or whether we realize the potentiality of mankind uh, comes down to a fight here in the United States. Will President Obama be forced out of office? 
will the vice president invoke the 25th Amendment? And once Obama, as a British-controlled obstacle to this change in policy, is removed from the scene safely, legitimately, Mr. LaRouche said there's a welcome spot in any one of a number of mental institutions around the country where he can be protected and treated properly. But once that factor is removed, uh, Mr. LaRouche said he's confident that there are enough sane figures within the executive branch, within the Congress, who will see the urgency of what he has laid out in terms of implementation of Glass-Steagall, the reestablishment of a credit system here in the United States, the launching of NAWAPA. And if those policies are acted on in time, and there's a very serious question of the in time factor here, then under those circumstances, other nations will respond. And you can create what he emphasized is a necessary concert of sovereign nations to move to reestablish a global credit system based on fixed exchange rates. And on the basis of that, these other global development projects can be launched as cooperative efforts of sovereign nation states working in concert. So here in Washington, D.C., this is Jeff Steinberg signing off.